recently the first minister of Scotland has uh, spoken in an interview and he said that his in-laws are in Palestine right now, more specifically Gaza, and he said that his in-laws have been told that Gaza would be turning into rubble um, sooner or later. Um, but then at the same time, people can't leave. There's no way to leave. So they're stuck stuck, in, and they can't go anywhere else. Um, and he's, he's, saying, he's saying even with um, things over there and connections over there, they, he doesn't know what's happening. He's worried. Um but he still chooses not to speak and say anything more, speak about Israel, what they've been doing, the apartheid, the anything else. As always, he doesn't speak. And even now, when he needs to speak, when his in laws are in the middle of it, he still chooses not to speak. And this shows you what type of person he is. And it's a lesson for us, no matter how big we get, what sort of platform we have. Um, we shouldn't forget our principles, forget our roots, forget Islam. Um, this is where this is what happens when you let go of those things. And then now you're humiliated in front of the world because everyone's seeing you being a coward, not being able to speak, even when your in-laws are in need. Um so I don't really see why he's given that interview because there's been people, many people have given interviews um, about um, their family over there and no one's really listened to them. People are listening to him because he has a platform and he chooses not to speak. He just reiterates that he's worried and he doesn't know what's going to happen. Many people have said that. Thousands of people with family over there have said the same thing he has said. He has a huge platform. He could have said so much more, but he chooses not to. And this is a reminder for us to not let our, how big we become uh, stop us from um, helping those that need help, uh, helping people get justice, in this case the Palestinian cause. And it's not the first time he has decided to be uh, spineless and cowardly. Um, hopefully his uh, family and everybody else over there is fine. Um hopefully he realises that his stances in the past and what he said in the past is is helping him now when he needs help to bring his in-laws to safety. It's not helping him one bit. So what was the point um, being neutral or being friends with the enemy when today when you need the help, they're not helping you.